Welcome to African Horizon. Today I want to share some key thoughts on real estate opportunities across Africa. Now in terms of real estate opportunities, of course, first you need to think about where you want to potentially invest and you know, whether it's North Africa, East, West, Central or Southern Africa, that's you know, the initial uh, focus. Then after you know where you want to invest, then the, you know, the issue is what class are you looking at? Are you an asset management firm thinking about going into potentially buying a larger land area, whether it's with a local partner or not? Then you need to you know, check you know, careful assessment of the laws, the regulations, the tax laws, I know that consider the land and the area, you, know, you need to have you know, strong local knowledge and local know-how and then understand what opportunities will and what is the growth trajectory in the future. For example, how is the infrastructure in the region going to be? What are the logistics opportunities? You know, what is the, the relation in terms of you know, economic corridors or potentially maybe oil and gas projects or other renewable you know, energy projects or for example, other industrial projects that'll create an you know, economic opportunity and drive in the future. So look at you know, really economic corridors and think about growth regions. And then a little look at the larger regional picture and look at neighboring countries. How is the situation there? But despite you know, potential risks that might be in the area, that doesn't mean that there could not be opportunities. There could be major opportunities. So think about the long-term trajectory because across Africa now, there are major growth opportunities and now it's a buyer's market. Whether you're an asset management firm or an investment firm or looking at private equity deals, you really do proper serious research and you know, really work very focused and find local partners who are humble, who have a strong industrial real estate and financial track record in the region you want to work in. And that is a very important. However, you feel more, more like a family, you know, or maybe a private person thinking about buying an apartment or maybe a family home or a vacation apartment. There are many opportunities across Africa. But again, you need to look at, you know, look at the laws, look at the regulations, look at the tax laws. Uh, if you want to buy land, well, the question is, can you buy land in the area you want to buy? Is it possible? What are the laws? And how can you do it? And if not, maybe you can buy an apartment. And how can you do that? Is, it, is the way forward to buy it? maybe a share in an apartment complex? You need to just do proper research of all the opportunities. Maybe consider different regions and then plan ahead and think very carefully. Uh, these days, it's a, it really is a strong buyer's market. You know, interest rates are low, but for foreigners coming into Africa, it can be difficult to get credit in banks. So then you need to have cash. But I mean, there are major opportunities across Africa in a different you know, buying levels. So there can be opportunities for wealthy families. But there are also opportunities for families who just may want to think about buying an apartment. Or, or a home. So there are many opportunities to do proper research, you know, whether you want to you know, then check through real, real estate agencies or you do do research by yourself. Maybe you have friends or connections in the area, but do careful planning. And I would not advise just going into investments that where someone just advise you to, you know, send money. That's not the way to go, to go forward. Do careful examination, do careful research and plan very carefully and know what you're doing. And that is the way forward. But there are major opportunities. You know, Africa has some of the most beautiful tourist destinations in the world. And there are emerging corridors now with you know, economic opportunities. There are major investments coming in. So you will see a large urban centers across Africa just emerging. You need a lot of building going on, you know, public transportation emerging. So there are many opportunities to consider for real estate investments across Africa. If you're looking at commercial real estate, maybe, you know, in shopping centers and shopping malls and planning to go into Africa, in that sense, you know, really do careful examination of the, early, the flow of the urban environment. Think about the urban landscape, what opportunities, and what are the, you know, uh, what are the areas you don't want to go into and perhaps learn from others who have been there before you. So now these are some thoughts and some considerations in terms of real estate opportunities in Africa, but there are major opportunities. So really, you know, take your lens and an antenna and start looking at, at you know, opportunities in Africa because there are going to be major growth regions. And now it's a buyer's market where there are, you know, a lot of ways to go forward. And if you want to think about perhaps East Africa or West Africa, Southern Africa, there are major opportunities. So thank you so much for joining and I'll see you next week. And please remember to subscribe to African Horizon. Thank you.